it's Marianne with Akashic Inspirations, and I am back doing Love to Row readings. I've been away for a while, but um, just can't keep me keep me away from doing what I love. And um, so this is going to be for Pisces. I've already pulled the cards, and um, so the energies of March are about commitment, relationships and just developing this energy of love, right? Uh, we're having a three, March 3rd is a three, three, three portal day. So we're talking triple whammy of manifestation. So with the Pisces, it's just incredible. Let's just start by looking at the cards. So we have this fire energy for our water sign. We've got Ace of Spring, Two of Spring, Three of Spring. So we have one, two, three. So it shows a progression, right? So what is Ace? The new beginning. And Spring represents the, the suit of wands in this deck. And this is the Fairy Tarot by uh, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So here in the Ace of Spring, I mean, just, I always love these cards because they're so pretty. Here she's got like magic, right? She's she's curling, creating swirls of magic. Like here's a bunny. Um, just like that fertility, the new beginnings, uh, the time of Easter, right? So it's a time to take action. Um, now is a time to just take a step forward. Um, I've been watching some videos and of a gentleman called Mike Dooley. And he's, you know, when he talks about, um, it's kind of like a cross between the law of attraction and the Course of Miracles and just giving us a different point of view. I, I really enjoy that. Um, and it, he talks about how just taking a step is what is important. When we want to create something or get to a certain goal, allow the universe to support us, right? To lovingly support us and give us what we desire. We just need to make sure that we take that first step. So here, this is what the Ace of Spring is talking about. It's like, okay, first step. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to, and, and you know, he talks about the path you start out on is not the path you finish on. So there's lots of twists and turns. So all we need to do is take a step. So it says here, it's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Now, whether that is a commitment in a love relationship or in business, because here what I love is that we've got uh, these two fairies and they're working in tandem, right? Working together to create something. So it says a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others. So this can be a relationship, a twin flame partnership, an actual business partnership, or where you connect with that higher aspect of self, that part of the universe, that God self, right? To create what you want to bring into this, into this world. Um, I'm going to go straight into then the three of spring. So here we have the manifestation, the one and the two coming together to create the third energy. So this is really, they're telling you to really plan your steps, right? To um, have an idea, to, uh, you know, write it down in your calendar. Okay, today, I'm going, how many hours a day are you going to spend working on your heart's desire? Was it one hour, two hours, three hours, as many as you can, five minutes, whatever it is. Right? So it's planning your next step with an eye on the long run. So we we know what our heart's desire is, but the how we're going to get there, that's where the universe, we've got to let the universe do its thing because we don't know how necessarily to get to that fulfilling passive income position that we want or um, how to meet our twin flame. We just know we need to start to get ourselves out there to date, to put ourselves on, on dating sites or at least go out and go to a, um, a play or uh, go to a cafe, we'll go listen to a concert, whatever, whatever it is where we've got to get out there, right? Go to a friend's party. So it's, it's about knowing that we are taking each step, having the patience. Um, it, he talks about, Mike Dooley talks about how our visual senses are like judgments, right? And they cannot see, our physical senses cannot see miracles because we can't see the miracles as they're happening. We only know after they've occurred that they were a miracle. So while things are happening, we can't see that. So we don't want to give up 
right in the middle of our miracle being manifest. So one of the things that it talks about, I like, I like this, um, what help is coming our way, right? And so there's telling you to look for a mentor, somebody that's going to give you some guidance, right? Give you that shine the light in the darkness, right? Help you with that breakthrough. So whether you want to listen to people like Tony Robbins or Mastin Kip or uh, Gabby Bernstein, Marianne Williamson, um, Esther Hicks, anybody, you know, just somebody that's going to lead you forward, right? Give you a higher vibration. And, um, and it says, and for you to commit to your spiritual growth. So in, in it's all about taking action steps towards these manifestation. And here we have the Prince of Autumn. So that to me is the real grounding energy here. Okay, so here we have the spiritual energy. Here we have the grounding energy. The Prince of Autumn is the Prince of Pentacles. It's usually... Um, uh, depicted uh, like a knight on a black horse and just kind of standing still. So this is one of the only knight cards, and in the sense the prince card, that is actually just stay, staying still. There's, there's not a movement per se. And I think that that really allows us to see how dependable, that it's something that's rooted in um, um, being secure, right? So it says, cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, and kindness to others. So as we let our imagination soar, right, we have to have our feet planted on the ground, right? That real connection with source, with being, um, taking those day-to-day -day steps, right? Yes, we, we maintain in the spiritual, the overall dream, but we take the earth, come into the earthly realm, to, uh, to to live humorously every single day, just going forward, just going forward, just going forward. And when we do all that, right? I love this, that here we have one, two is three, and three, and three, the Empress. And the Empress, the culmination of fertility, of beauty, of creativity, of, of just that connection to emotions, of, you know, the primordial egg, like like the world is your oyster, right? So let's take time, time to take action. There you go. The power of creativity, success that allows for the life of luxury. I love this little like little baby here in the in the pea pod, right? And you see everything's golden, right? Everything's golden and light and beautiful and she looks like a fairy godmother or something, right? That she's just blessing, you know, all the blessings that you have in your life. So look to the blessings that are in your life and be grateful, right? That's that's one of the great things that we can do to increase you know, to get away from the ego's fears is by doing um, a gratitude journal. And so here is a really, I think this goes really great because the magician is like, you know, believe in yourself, believe in your own magic, right? Distinguish your own magic. It says you can do anything. And what I love about the Eight of Winter, which is the Eight of Swords, usually that's the card where the girl's tied up and she has the, you know, the, the bandage over her eyes. But I love how she's in white here. And it says you have all that it takes. You are the magician. You have that magic. And you have, the only thing that you have to do is believe in yourself. And the magician already has that belief. He knows he can do this. So all I have to do is release that, that sense of being frozen in time, right? Um, thinking that you're powerless when you're not, you're actually this magician and have just like the flowers, the white, um, it's funny because it's the white flowers of purity and the red poppy flowers. So those, that sense of exuberance, right? Of passion and, and, and mixing that with the sense of purity, right? Of pure action, pure thought, pure magic. Um, it says, uh, um, you don't want to have this, this sense of lack of confidence keep you from being um, that having that magic in your life. So you can, your magician can over, um, can get past this sense of, of doubt, right? The ego, the doubt. And because you are just magnificent and you're surrounded with people who love you, you have a partnership, you have a good sense of how you're going to achieve things. Um, you can get a mentor to help you and you have some, you have that ability to have that solid base.
So you have love, you have friendships, you have mentoring, you have people, you have a great sense of of urgency, of passion to do things and to take that step. Take the step, whatever it is, just one day at a time. Do it methodically in a planned out motion and just every day do something. Post, whether it's posting on Facebook, whether it's posting on YouTube, whether it's talking about something to somebody, to 10 people. Choose 10 people a day and, and reach out to them and talk to them about your projects or what you want to do or what you want to achieve. So Pisces, wow, fabulous, incredible. All of the readings so far this month have been beautiful. And I just thank you for, um, you know, subscribing and hitting that notification button so you get advised of the other videos that are going to be coming out. Um, and I'm just going to be doing everything. I'm just going to be doing what I love. Tarot readings, um, Akashic readings, coaching on Facebook, and working with my new wonderful um, I've decided to join the Lime Life by Al Khan family and sell these amazing natural uh, skincare products. So please check it out into my Facebook, into my website. And um, I wish you a great month of March. Lots of love and light. And uh, thank you for welcoming me back. Namaste.